Welcome back here once again, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. My name is Joseph James. You know what time it is. Time for our daily recap here. Had another great day in our live trade room. Hope you guys and gals had a great day with us. Monday was a holiday. Tuesday was a little bit slippery yesterday morning. Gave back a little profit towards the end of the day yesterday after market personality changed, and we did not make that same mistake again today. A fantastic day across the board today. Fast Tracks making money. Got some, got some members reporting some great auto trader results today. And, of course, our advanced method still kicking butt. I'll tell you, what was great about today was, was that we used the very simple wave pattern to take three winning trades and then on one, the last one, the pattern failed and we took the failure pattern for another winning trade. It was a great example today. Now, before I talk about the trades we took today, before we go over these wave patterns with you, and members, don't forget, we did a three-hour training on these wave patterns yesterday, so it was a great timing of this. Fresh in our minds from, from Tuesday afternoon, we did training on this yesterday afternoon, and we're talking about these wave patterns and using speed. Before we talk about those, please remember, guys, to be careful with your risk capital. One of the things I take a lot of pride in is the fact that I fully prepare my members for battle every day. Okay, it's not battle with the market, it's battle with ourselves. Okay, the market, we're in the same team. Okay, we don't trade against the market. We're not going to battle against the market. We're going to battle against ourselves every day, our emotions. Okay, we always want to over trade, under capitalize. We're always trying to add other indicators and, and, you know, diverge from our trading plan. One of the things we're very proud of is our ability to follow a simple plan. And that simple plan, it's a, lot, it's a lot like going to the grocery store, going to the local farmer's market, and not having a list with you. Okay? If you go into the grocery store without a list, you're coming back with cotton candy, butter fingers, right? Soda, soda pop, right? You want to go to that store with a list. That way you come back with all the good fruits and vegetables, things for your family. So think of this this morning. We're all coming in every day trading our plan. We're not coming in just taking trade calls. We're not coming in just guessing where price will go. And we're definitely not coming in trying to understand everything. Okay? Don't worry about that stuff. Come in every morning and follow the plan. And that plan will effectively help you avoid and manage all that extra risk out there in these markets. These markets are really very volatile these days, and it really gives us a lot of opportunity to make money. But with that comes the other side of that coin. You can easily lose your money. Now, take it from me. I've lost over $30,000 in losses, a bunch of banged up trade accounts, stress and time. It is so much easier with a mentor or a coach or somebody who can flatten that learning curve for you to help you avoid that risk right away. Okay? I've got a ton of analogies for the best ways to learn. Stick around. Now, the mean potatoes here. So now you guys know we got some risk out there in these markets. Be careful. Let's talk about let's talk about our three clues today. What were the first clues we got? First clue, let's go grab our news. You can see we had a great day today, almost 200 ticks. First clue today came from our news report. And what did the news tell me this morning? The news told us a couple of things this morning. First of all, we had early morning news at 8.30. Okay, 8.15 was minor news, didn't worry about that too much. 8.30 was the most important news. But at the same time, import-export prices, remember this this morning? They're not that important. They're not, this, it isn't major, major news. So we had reason to believe that kind of the second day back after the break, today would be that day when traders would be dusting off the cobwebs, getting back to their desks, and it would probably be the meat and potatoes after 9.30 this morning. So we speculated this morning by saying, we got some, we got some minor news events early. It's Wednesday. Monday was off. Tuesday was a no day, basically. So we knew today the traders would be coming back from break. Right? They'd be getting their feet wet back in the markets. And we knew that at 10.30, we had that inventory number. And inventories are always going to be something we want to wait around for. One thing we've learned on Wednesdays is that it benefits us to be patient early because we get better opportunities after the 10.30 inventories come out. And so that was our strategy today. Be patient early. But then we also noticed that towards the end of our day, we had some late afternoon or early afternoon news. This is what told us to be very careful trading too late today. Whenever we have news in the afternoon, and usually when it's afternoon news, it's usually not some slouch. It's usually a very important news event. 
So when we had this afternoon news that told us right away, we can expect there to be a big question mark after 11 o'clock. We may not get anything after 11 o'clock. Now, we ended up getting some pretty good price action after 11 o'clock. But again, our plan before we got started today was to be patient because it's a Wednesday and then be disciplined after 11 o'clock because of 2 o'clock beige book. Okay, so get in early, be patient, get out early ahead of that slowdown ahead of lunchtime. That was our first clue. Second clue this morning, second clue was actually pretty easy. Remember what it was? Let's go back to the blog. Every morning at 7.30 a.m., we post our morning prep. You can go right to the category on the blog called morning prep. You can see every morning prep we've done right there. All the morning preps are there in the same category. So we have the morning prep posted, and we talked about this the very first thing we said after the news, of course. We grabbed